guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is an icy blue using the Vice 3 palette. It is a look I'm calling Winter is Coming because I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. I watch it with my boyfriend Ben, Mina, and Nick. Hi guys! And just decided that the blues in the palette were so gorgeous that I had to use them. Also, I just wanted to say hi to Denna and I appreciate you watching my videos. A little birdie told me that you like to watch them and I just wanted to say hi and give you a little shout out. Thanks so much! First I'll be going in with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre, just applying that all over the lid and then in the crease area with clean hands. This is just to ensure that I have a base for my shadows and that they won't crease throughout the day. Then we'll be going with the Vice 3 palette by Urban Decay, which I just recently purchased. And I'll be using my MAC 217 and blending the shade DTF into the crease. Just back and forward motions, circular motions, just basically blending the color into the crease. Then I'm just going in with my Sonia Castric brush in the number 20 and just using this to blend out any harsh lines around the crease area which we just applied. Then I'll be going in with my MAC 239 brush and spraying it with Fix Plus just to get it a little bit wet. Then packing on the color Freeze which is the bright blue color in the Vice 3 palette. It's actually gorgeous and that's the reason I did this whole look. I thought it was just stunning and that it deserved to have its own tutorial. Then I'm going back in just using the shade DTF again and blending it in with my 217 brush just making sure that the blue and the crease color blend together well. Then going in with my MAC 217 again, I am using the deep blue color called Heroin and applying that on the outer V of the eye and blending it inward. Then once again I'm just taking the Sonia Kashuk brush and blending everything together to clear harsh lines. Then I'm just going in with the shade Truth which is a flesh tone color and just applying that around the crease area to blend out any harsh lines as well. Then using the Vice 3 palette brush with Fix Plus sprayed on it, I'm applying the white frosty color that comes in the palette known as Bobby Dazzle into the corners of my eye and blending outward. Then I'm using the same deep heroin color that we used previously. I'm now using it on the other side of the Vice 3 brush and flicking it underneath the eye into a cat eye effect. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes with a black pencil just to add depth to the lashes and I'll be going in with a white eye coal and just applying that into the inner parts of my eye. Next I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk number 107 bent eyeliner brush just bent at the end so it gives you more precision in the eye area and using Maybelline's Eye Studio Gel Liner in charcoal I'm lining from the outside of my eye in a cat flick into the inner corner and connecting them.
Next I'm just plumping my lashes with an eyelash curler and then applying L'Oreal's Blackest Black Manga Mascara. Then for my lower lashes, I'm using Their Real by Benefit Mascara. Next, I'm just applying a pair of false lashes made by Q, which you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart, and I've applied Duo eyelash glue to them and just adhering them to my lashes. Now I'm just applying another coat of mascara to my false and real lashes and then I'll be going in with my MAC NW15 Studio Fix Foundation and applying that with a damp beauty blender. And yes, I am the shade NW15 because like the title says, winter is coming. Then I'm going in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and applying that underneath the eyes on any red areas such around my nose and my chin and blending that in with a damp beauty blender. Now using a Q powder brush, I'm just powdering my face with Stay Matte Powder. So I'll apologize now, my camera kind of slipped down, so it only has half my face. I'm now applying my favorite Sephora Matte Bronzer in Las Cabos, using a Q bronzing brush and applying that to the hollows of my cheeks my jawline and to my nose. Then I'll be going in with my favorite blush by NARS, which is Deep Throat, and applying that with a Real Techniques brush to the apples of my cheeks. And for once, I'm not using my Dior highlighter. I'm actually going in with Max Eyeshadow in the shade Shroom and applying that with a Sephora blending brush. And then I'll be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I just draw a line at the bottom of my eyebrow and a line at the top. And I start filling in the tail end first. Then I go back to where the two lines connect and just slightly fill in baby hairs. Last but not least, I'm using MAC's Amplified Cream Lipstick in the shade Blankety, which is a nude color with more of a brown tint to it. And I'm just applying that lightly with my fingers and rubbing off any excess. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching my video and please make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed.